It is time for Mic'd Up. We dedicate this time in the show to hearing people in their own words, because that doesn't happen often enough. Today we hear from a nonprofit gym without walls in Alexandria. They teach kids and adults the art of parkour. Adam Longo got to literally jump in and join a class of future Tracer Maestros. Got a bunch of third grade students here behind me in Alexandria. They are learning the finer points, well really the introductory points of parkour. We've gotten to the point in the course where they're literally jumping from one thing to another and trying to keep their balance or they fall into the lava and die. All right, y'all, are y'all ready? Yeah. All right, begin. Yeah. <laughs> so this isn't something that was available when you and I were in school. How does this get on the radar for kids here in Alexandria? So we have a partnership through the City of Alexandria Parks and Recreation and public schools to bring parkour lessons on site to places like Chick Armstrong to teach them about parkour. So you said you've never done this before. What do you think it's all about? What do you think they're going to be doing today? We go on site and show them. You don't need special obstacles. You don't need anything. You just need the right frame of mind and some experienced people to show you how you can use anything. You can use your whole world to make a playground and to build a strong, capable body. It's going to be running and jumping. Do you run and jump a lot? So you should have no problem with this at all, right? All right, so we got some hardcore parkour athletes here. We're going to see if we can make it through the gauntlet of swings are we going to be able to do it look at him go look at him go oh hello it's like frogger in real life you did great nice job it's the very first skill anyone teaches themselves you're just curious about your body how to move how to explore and pretty soon you're walking and running and climbing on things and you're threatening to jump off of them being told no so they're doing parkour before they can even pronounce the word parkour Everybody does parkour before they know what it is. Can you turn your arms like this? A lot of this is parkour, my friend. When people think of parkour, they think of high up, high risk, big gaps, crazy stuff on YouTube. But it starts down here. If you don't understand the consequences at one foot off the ground, then you, you're, you're not allowed to go two, three, four feet and endanger yourself. This isn't about adrenaline. This isn't about being a daredevil. First of all, well done wearing the Terp shirt without a turnover. Had to represent, yep. You're the only one that did this weekend. <laughs> uh, as much as I enjoy kids out there getting their energy out yeah. and also being very uh, creative in ways in which kids can exercise, getting them outside doing all that stuff, parkour when we were growing up was the stuff that used to get you suspended from school. Right. Like I have some reservations about kids just going out there, go explore. Well, he joked with me that parkour is actually what all of us used to do before we found an actual sport. Mm -hmm. What was interesting about being out there is they're literally on the playground getting instructions. I mean, in you and me in our day, we're just out on the playground, we're just doing whatever we want. Yeah. So uh, Sean Hanna there, who we talked to, he's the president of PK Move. That's the nonprofit organization. Um, and he said, yeah, this is what they did before they actually picked a sport. I, I asked him how the group got started because I was really interested in finding this out. And it actually has its genesis tied to older adults doing parkour. Take a look at this video. This is Nancy Lorenz. She's a co-founder of PK Move. She was a student in one of Sean's classes, okay? A 40-year-old mom with kids. She's hanging out with a bunch of shirtless teenagers, right, doing parkour. Well, she ended up getting diagnosed with breast cancer several years ago, and she used parkour to help impact her recovery. And then shortly after that, Nancy had a friend who, who passed away after suffering a, a nasty fall, an older friend. So she started this nonprofit as a way to link parkour with fall prevention for older adults to help teach them to land safely and how to get back up. And it's really helping a lot of them. So they're teaching kids and older adults there in Alexandria. I love that. That's a fantastic story. We're going to put that online, right? Oh, yeah, uh, it'll be sure there. Yeah. That. Okay. Yeah. PKmove.org, and it'll be on my Twitter page and online as well. Yeah. Very cool. And there's no age limit, clearly. So I No get age it. limit. All right, we fair good. enough. Yeah.